Hi guys and welcome back to Macaroon. I know you're probably thinking, slime and EOS, what is this? Are we back in 2015? To which I say, this is actually the logical follow-up to the last video, which was surprisingly popular, so I think these are two experiments that people are interested to see. If you haven't watched the Clear Squishy video yet, then be sure to check it out here. First of all, I've got these two Crystal EOS lip balms. These came out just after the DIY EOS craze on YouTube, so they were somehow left out of the hype. But I really love how they look, and there's something so aesthetic about transparent makeup. These feel slightly less moisturizing than normal EOS, but that's not a problem for this video because I'm just going to be poking them with needles. And next up, I've got some normal clear slime. This is the super transparent kind with a slightly jelly-like texture. So I'm really excited to see what happens when we try injecting color into both of these. Just like the other video, I'm going to be using water mixed with food coloring. This time, I'm using a toothpick to mix in smaller amounts so I can create some slightly pastel shades. Then I'm pulling up the color using a syringe and we're ready to start our experiment. The texture of this slime is pretty thick, so there's plenty of room to insert the needle. I was a bit disappointed here because it's surprisingly tricky to get the ink to stay inside. I really thought that you can create cool patterns within the slime, but as you can see, most of the ink simply flows out through the bottom. This did remind me a bit of the clear koala squishy, however the difference here is that slime is water soluble, so it will begin to absorb the liquid. It's starting to take on the green tint of the food coloring, which is quite pretty, but it's not as satisfying as being able to inject ink directly inside. I kept trying a few more times, but the liquid keeps sliding out of the slime. I did notice that if you inject directly into an air pocket, then you can get the ink to stay around for a bit longer. However, large air bubbles in slime don't remain in place for very long, so it's going to be very difficult to create them on purpose. As we saw in this video, the air bubbles will rise to the surface faster than you can inject them. Next up, I'm going to try injecting slime when it's still in the container. This was also surprisingly difficult because the liquid gets pushed back up to the surface. I did somehow manage to make a ball of ink, which looks really cool here, but I wasn't able to replicate it again. So on the whole, I was a bit disappointed about injecting slime, because I was convinced that it would look a lot more satisfying than it actually did. Aside from absorbing the color of the ink, there really isn't much happening here. This means that clear slime actually has more resistance than clear squishies since it pushes the ink back out. Now let's move on to the EOS. You can't see this on camera, but after I inserted the needle, I was squeezing the syringe, however nothing was happening. But when I pulled the needle away, the pressure caused the ink to splash back out. I tried a couple more times, but it's basically impossible to get any ink to stay inside.
This was less surprising since the EOS is really quite solid and it feels almost waxy. It's hard to imagine the lip balm getting displaced just by the liquid that you push out of a syringe. After getting poked a few times, the ink will start flowing along the needle marks, but it's still really hard to create any pockets of color. Using orange ink did produce an effect which reminds me a bit of amber stones. But on the whole, these two experiments were unfortunately less visually pleasing than I had hoped. However, the point of these videos is just to satisfy our curiosity, so now you know what happens when we try injecting slime or EOS. I'm Joanna, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye!